Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of Goblin Stone. Guys, we are playing this beautiful roguelite uh, tactics RPG and I'm very excited to come back today. Last time I actually um, probably accidentally moved my shaman guild into nothingness because when I rearrange my goblins guild I can put all of my rooms down here but you can see I cannot go any further than that. I believe this is where my shaman guild sits but it is broken right now so i i have no idea how i'm gonna fix that i i really don't know I, it's, it's just gone it's it's in here but i cannot access it it's kind of disconnected from the rest of the thing i do believe we can build another shaman's guild if we wanted to uh so i wonder how this is gonna go we're gonna check this out empty chamber here we go and i want to build oh it costs us another 15 wood and 15 fiber ay 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 uh I guess, I guess it's it, right? Uh, is it also only tier 1? Or is it already upgraded? No? Huh? No goblins here? 0 out of 9? This is not true! Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so we have another Shaman's Guild. Uh, we can now manipulate uh, these things again and can upgrade. But yeah, I think this is just dead space now. Meh. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. There is uh, no reason to... Um, I mean, there's a reason to be mad about it. A little bit. Okay, so let's get rid of the junk. We have a lot of leather, a lot of stone and ore. That is also stuff that I want to get rid of. A and as you can trick. see here, we have a new weapon. It's a long stick. It's a spear for the hunter class with 10 power. Uh, attacks to two front enemies for 50% of the power's uh, damage. And it has plus 5 armor. That's an instant pick for me, although I don't have access to uh, the hunter class yet. We can sell the stone. Just what's needed. And bring that thing in. An honest yeah, one. absolutely. I do like it. So, what else? We got some goblins. Some new prospects here. Lucky Brute. Fortune. But his base stats are not particularly great. I mean, he has good mind. So it's a 3-6-3. Three, three. And Lucky? He could be a real good... Uh, what's it? Raider. I'm actually getting you in your Dark Rester. Promising addition. You are nothing. You are also nothing. Okay. So, um, we got one guy with a mortal wound currently. So I'm gonna go to the quarters. No, not to the quarters. To the war room, actually. You, wine supper. You only have 25 health left. That is not a lot, especially as a guard. So I think I'm gonna retire you, my friend. It was a... A quick they journey for you. Their weapon. <laughs> that means we need another rest. guard. We have Sick Joiner here. Sick Joiner is all right. He's ruthless, flabby, and skeptic and lucky. He doesn't have great body. And we get for every three body, we gain two armor. Man, we need two more points here to actually get that armor bonus, which I so desperately want. Your power is also really low because of flabby. We can get you lucky at the very least. Yes, Flabby gives you six life, but negative three power is so much, man. I just don't like it. Um, You could be a raider. But hey, speaking of raider, if you are not a brute and just lucky, are you good enough as a raider? Primary attribute is body. You will need five points in body. So, <laughs> goodbye, my friend. <laughs> They're free now to live a life <laughs> that was quick, man. That was so quick. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so we could go in with Sick Joiner. It's not the best, but it is it's workable. Or we just breed another goblin. Let's check out if there is an option for that. Game. Game. Game, let me get, let me get out of here. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So... On towards the warrants. We need somebody with good body. And we need somebody Many with the brute born. ability. Uh, you have good base stats. Bump rafter. I'll take you. You are good. You're just good. Yeah. This pairing holds promise. Ah. Uh, is that good? I think you might be better. Of a strong brute. High body. We could also get alert, but no brute. Oh boy. Wait, you had brute and six body. Oh, you're related? Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not possible. You're a relative. No. Can we get brute somewhere? Anybody? Anybody? You are also a relative. Ah, that's a problem. 
could we could chance it. He has very low body score, but he has the brute sk uh, skill. You are right. Then needs new blood. Okay, okay, okay. That's a lot of options that we get here. Let's go random on this. Duck scaler and jerk counter. A new generation. A new hope. A new hope. Oh, this is this is the perfect one. We have alert. We have brute. We have good baseline stats. Five five two is fine. I would make this you a guard. Theta suits their temperament. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. It's not amazing, but it's just what we need. Are you better? Five four four. What's the other also? Five four four. Seven one four. Oh, let's also make you a guard because why not? All right, lump mender. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, another thing we want to do is actually upgrade the armory because that thing gets rid of all of our leather and our ore, which we have a lot of. So that's getting constructed now. And we also have the quarters, which we could upgrade for stone and ore, which we have a lot of. And we have a lot of that we could upgrade. Now, we need fiber. Okay. So, that means we can finally take all of our spoils from the last one, get in here and sell some, and then we're gonna go on an adventure again. I'll buy all of the wood. There's not enough room. Now there is. I think this is it, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and trade. Money is fine. We could dig deeper a little bit if we wanted to, but I think we are fine right now. Let me think real quick. It's just a bit of stacking here. We still have so much leather. At some point, we might want to just get rid of some because we are so stacked on that. All right. Good. I think we are actually ready to go on another adventure. What we are looking for is actually wood. Um, Sick joiner, you are new, right? You're the new guy. Get a shield, come on. It is not the best shield in the world, but it is yours now. Wait, no. Wait, no. You are... You are not the guy. Lumpmender is the guy. Yes. Let's go. How do you get five armor? What? Oh, God bonus two. Every three body points gain two armor. Yes. Oh, yes. Give him another one. No, that doesn't give armor, but it gives power. That's amazing. Sick I could just leave now. He's garbage. Ah, so he's... Basically, basically the same. Do we care about spirit? Every three spirit points above the base of four gain in armor. I, you know what? Bust bumper is, oh, bust lumber is a little bit better because he has two mind, which gives him a bit more crit chance. So we have somebody to be able to swap out at some point. So that, it's just a little bit of crit chance. Everything else is completely irrelevant. Okay. Let's go, guys. I am ready. Where do we go? Let's do it. Again, wood would be absolutely fantastic if we can get it somewhere. There's fiber at the very least. Fiber is also rather rare for us. I don't care about leather. But we wouldn't be able to gather any wood here. It's only leather and bone, which we are not even... We don't even care about that. Let's go to the height again, or the heath again. Let's do it. Ready to roll. So weird that you can buy or build these gills multiple times? There is no Why would you? Of adventure and peril in these Why would you woods? even? There's a little bit of a, of a jankiness to the game that I cannot deny. Alright, so let's check it out. There is either treasure or guru. Goblin, tough battle. I think we're gonna we're gonna stack ourselves for tough battles, and I wanna try to get as many as possible because they always come with some extras. It's like treasure or harvest. Potential is nothing without practice. So let's get better first. Wakey wakey gives us a bit more damage on the third hit. Sticky hoodoo. Uh actually deals a bit of damage. And that's a 30% chance for extra bleed, which I'm a big fan of. Let's go. Rattle is... Uh... We have a lot of armor now, so Rattle dealing more damage based on our armor is good. Uh, 
Our shamans are not particularly powerful. They don't have a lot of power, so I don't really think it makes a lot of difference on the... And I'm not really using Spirit Rush a lot. I know, I should use it more often. Buffing my people is also pretty good. Rattle 2. 150% damage. Hmm... I do like the guard ability, though. Being able to intercept two attacks with one move warrior. is amazing. All right, here we go. Little Gobbo. What do we have here? A guard and a raider. Harp leather and shift fetter. <laughs> what are you? You are a brute. 616. Thick-blooded. Could be lucky, could be religious. You could be religious, question mark? That gets you up to 8 spirit, but lowers your body tremendously. Because you get a plus 2 from Brute, so your base stat is 3. You would lower it by another 3. You're basically dead. You have no hit points, my friend. Um, mm, eh. I, I don't care about you. Who are you? Shift Fetter. 5 body. Because you're a Brute. Your stats are garbage. Eh. Religious alert. At the very least, he got the alert perk, which I really care about. I do like that. You get some good perks. You have the better deadline, I think. The six spirit is interesting. I'll take you. Again, might be good for breeding at some point. Let's go. <laughs> so, we want to get the tough battle. Ah, there's another goblin up there. But, tough battle for Harvest. That's what we are here for. Okie dokie. Oh, push it! And then he turned around. Yeah, I could have waited for it to give it another cycle to turn around, but I, just, I don't care too much. I don't care enough at the very least. So, we have Rattle and Guard. Who are you attacking? Sudden Strike Slicing Dagger. Oh, we got Double Slicing Dagger. Mmm, means we probably want to stall a little bit for mass massive effect of bleed here. You deal 12 damage, my friend. I think I'm gonna guard my backliners. That's a good idea. Six block already. So good. And I will intercept you. <clears throat> good. So, my party should be safe. Alright. Alright. Okay, so slicing dagger to mm, actually these guys. Because I want to be able to bypass their armor. Pick wounds. Mm -hmm. No, I think slicing dagger is bad. Be uh, better, because we have another chance. Again. No. That's fine. Okay, so that being said. I'm gonna slow them. Or, knock him back. It's not a slow, it's a knockback. Right? Have we got here? Yeah, I think it is. Soul Gale is a knockback. They have a 20% resistance to backline because he just got knocked back. A 50%. That's okay. Keep him in the back. Nope. Six <laughs> damage. Okay, so you're guarded, so I don't have to worry about that. That means we're gonna actually armor up. Seven armor now. And completely blocked. Armor reduced by one, but I don't really care. Mm, this guy, what are we doing with him? I mean, we also need to kill, that's the thing. Soul Gale actually helps with that. Because this guy is taking a lot of damage in the back there, and I think the bleed is now able to kill him and we don't have to worry about him anymore. Shall we intercept? The answer is yes. <clears throat> Alright. We don't get the rattles. Uh, there's no good, there's no good thing. <clears throat> intercept the other guy. Alright. <laughs> At the very least, we are taking very, very mm. little damage. Okay, we got Wakey Wakey Sudden Strike. If we crit on the Wakey, we kill. Or we just high roll the chop. This is better. Mm. Nah, not enough. Uh. Sudden Strike kills, though. That's perfect. The one speed attack. Nice. 
So, I'm just hoping that this guy is not even a problem anymore. So, what we do might be a little bit of a life shock to our friend here. So that he comes out of the fight with full health. Ah, <clears throat> oh, come on, we need one more tick of two. Could wakey wakey the back line and just chance it that he gets another tick before he acts. Or oh, I just go pick wounds and just finish him. <clears throat> Let's do it. Alright. So. Man, we just don't get the rattles. We have so much armor and we cannot lever leverage it. Um, gonna guard my raider though. Massive amount of armor. Hex him? Slow? No. Aha! One damage only. That is efficiency, man. That's good. So, chop kills? No? No, it doesn't. It does not, but it, get rid it gets rid of his armor. Do we want to chance another life shock? We could do that. So, slicing dagger on you. There we go. Life shock, whoever has the lowest health. So, we would get four out of here. And then we're gonna bash him to death. Let's go. That was good. Very good fight. It's more ore. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want a the stone. Harvest. No, I know the game is called Goblin Stone, but I want it to be Goblin Wood. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Oh man. Okay, so let's go to the campfire. That means we can actually take the speed up, which I am a big fan of. A cozy don't have to heal. Welcomes the so take that. We're gonna discuss our they tactics, which is by the warm stab him with the pointy end. We don't even have pointy ends, now that I think about it. This is all bludgeoning damage that we are dealing here. Okay, and then another tough fight with a treasure attached to it. Instant push! Yes. If he would have waited, he would have turned around and attacked us directly. Alright, so, we got him surprised. What's your damage? 12. We have the rattle for 6. That means he's down to 14 and very, very killable now. Another rattle. Sure. Why not? Bonk. <laughs> Did not get this done. Wait. That doesn't even kill. Whatever. Get a dagger in. You gotta be kidding me! Get more daggers in. That is a resist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we won't get the Shifty Adventurer down quickly. E awkward. Um... Could go Sticky Hoodoo to slow him. Everything's resisted! Alright, we actually have to think about ordering here now. I thought it would be a little bit easier than that. But it is not. So, Mr. Adventurer, what can we do to you? Not a lot, honestly. This is a 20% resist on the slow. I want it. Give it to me. Alright. We got that at the very least. And yes, he attacked my tank, which is good. So, you're attacking... Uh, my backliners... Get Slicing Dagger Sudden Strike and Wakey Wakey Sudden Strike. We have a rattle, potentially. It's not really helpful. I, I do believe he is gonna get another attack out, so let's make him attack the tank. Uh, 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 uh. So Rattle, try to get him. Actually, now that I think about it, we have a slow. That had an impact on this guy. But now, this guy has not, like, the slow has no impact on him anymore because he's also stunned. Both tick down at the same time. Yeah. Go bleed. <clears throat> What's better here? Would be 3-3-4, three, three, probably, so 10 damage, or... Yeah, it's, it, Wakey Wakey is good. 
oh. is down to three. That means a soul gale will kill. <gasps> nice. Big impact there. <gasps> Alright, so what are we doing with this guy on the front? He has two stacks of bleed, he is slowed. That's eight damage potentially. Is this gonna be enough to kill him? Ah, six only. The slow is actually good here. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Conk! So he's gonna bleed. Still getting a lot of damage in here. Question is, can we heal? Can we cheese a heal? Can. And we shall. Sorry for the stun, my friend, but you need a bit of help. And we're gonna chop him now. Good. I would say everything considered, it was a good fight. And you know what? We should probably go for higher... Um, like, we should probably try to push into the next region that might give us more stuff. I think we shouldn't farm in the first uh, in the first region anymore. So we get a bit of food. We also get a damage versus men folk, fifty percent bonus. Yes, let's go. I like it. We're not gonna definitely put that somewhere. Knockback chance. We got nothing. We have the ten power item. Let's do it. We just get the bigger benefit out of here. One check. Yeah, we want to get to the top. Absolutely. There's another tough battle, there is another potential goblin, and there is a chest. I'm here for it. Alright. So, menfolk. It's like these guys. Absolutely. So I don't like you attacking my shaman at all, so we instantly intercept. Yeah, it's it's a lot of damage that's coming in from these guys. I don't I don't like it. That's a no-brainer. Good chunk of damage plus the stun. We have the wakey, which will kill, by the way. So the dagger goes to you. We didn't get the thirty percent bonus here. Bonk. Oh. <laughs> yes. Massive damage with the 50% bonus damage as well. It's incredible. Um, push back. Slowing them. No. It is a hex because it bypasses the armor as well. We're gonna try to just undercut what he has. Same here. Yeah. It's okay. Ow. We are bleeding. We got a pushback. So bust lumber is very damaged already. Hmm. These guys are really slow right now, so I think I can do this. Heal the guy up. Give him a bit of health. Yes, he will fall back, but I just don't care. And we go for it. Just push it, push it, push it. We have to go with that. Hold up, wait. Wakey, wakey. Also, oh, it also applies to slow. I, I always had to stun in mind, but a slow is also helpful. Yeah, but this guy's slowed anyways. So we're gonna get the guy out that can actually hurt us and then just pummel the last dude. There we go. Picking wounds. I think we chop. This guy has a bonus damage here. Yeah. Cool. Summoning their fortitude, they move on. A bit of valuables. Nothing too crazy. Nothing to be excited about yet. So, elite battle. That's gonna be the tough one. Cool, here we go. Got the middle one attacking our backline, our shaman. That's a rattle initiation. <clears throat> Resisted the stun. <clears throat> Curse you. Another one? I think I'm fine with that. Let's go. <clears throat> he <clears throat> resisted again. He has a 10% chance to do that, by the way. Oh, that's bad. 
I guess we're gonna just brute force it by chopping you. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, down to 12. Yes, that hurts. But it is manageable. So, we have 50% more damage. Oh, come on. Against menfolk with this weapon. Does that also include the bleed? That's the thing I wonder. <clears throat> I'm chopping this. It's just so much raw damage. It's just better to just uh, go for it. Um, Shall we push back? No. No, I don't feel it. <clears throat> we just go for it. Just get one out of here. Get lucky? Never lucky. Okay. Injuries mount. I gotta keep in mind though, this is not the end fight. This is not the boss. It's just a yeah, regular elite fight that we have to deal with right now. But anyways, we got the first guy down. That's great. So, off with you. Progression. Got a bit of foodstuffs as well, so I'm not too worried about it. But we have to, we have to guard our little guys. Absolutely. Sure. Chop could kill, so we go for it. Sadly not. I mean, that's a sudden strike. Only takes us one time tick. And then I want a life shock. Yeah, we have a rattle coming up. That's perfect. Who needs a bit of healing? I mean you, but you're the guy coming up next. No! Ah, well then, I'm gonna go for Jack Scaler. You are in dire need of a bit of health. Go for it. Stun? We did get it. It buys us time to get him down. Another life shock coming up. I don't think we're gonna be fast enough. I think we end it. Let's go. It's okay. A galvanizing go, go, little goblins. It sells for a hundred. Cool. By the way, I love that they're just putting out the selling price there and not like, hey, this is worth so much. And on the merchant, you only get half the price for it. Uh, but it wouldn't make any sense. Another menfolk update. Fine baubles. What? What? I mean... Bust Lumber definitely needs healing, so let's give him some. Schmonk. Bonk. Mmm. Tasty. Do we go for, like, the full big attack? I think spreading it is a bit better. Yeah. Because sometimes, I mean, overkill damage doesn't transfer to the next enemy. Sometimes you just have enough. Treasure or Goblin? I want to see another goblin. Let's go with that. I haven't found any um, extra treasures anymore, though. Any hidden treasures. That's probably because I'm not looking properly here. So, you have 9 power, and it's probably because of your starting item. Um, you're also 7 to 6. If you had one more, by the way, you would have gotten another point of armor. You are, however, alert and a brute. You're not bad. I might want to get you. Ruthless. Thick-blooded. Skeptic. It's, you're just not quite there. No. It's Clam Timber. Let's go. Also, Clam Timber, again, has 9 power. He comes with small buckler. 9 power, 1 armor. Bash. Yeah, regular bash. Do I want you more than anybody else? You, it doesn't make any difference. Actually, it makes a bit of difference because the buckler is better. And you have a bit more health than uh, Bust Lumber right now. So I'd say welcome aboard. Okay. He's just a bit better. But his temporary weapon that he starts with is gonna go away as soon as we are coming home. So there's that. Alrighty, guys. Let's keep going. It's a pretty long mission today. Foodstuffs. Ooh, Ready that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. It means Rays that we don't have to rest and we can actually get the speed increase. 
I mean, we will rest. Weary of the world. Discuss the tactics while we're at it. Good. I'm excited. This is such a beautiful game, man. So, we heal up. If I can access my inventory. Here we go. You, my friend. You. And I guess you. Yes, we are overhealing quite a lot. This one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's only one more one more uh, fight that we have to get through, and then we're gonna go home with massive spoils of war. Push, 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 push. No! He turned around. They confront He's the a fast boy. End to its terror. Alright. Got five five armor. So good, man. Let's go ahead and um hmm. This guy has 24 damage. That almost kills Yak Dealer. Ay, 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 ay. Can we kill this before that happens? We got the wakey. We might. <laughs> let's stun and see where this is going. Um, let's do the. Oh, I could also bash him for just a bit more damage. Let's intercept the other guy, though. I think it's better. <laughs> All right. So, both hammers now have the bonus against menfolk. Ooh. <laughs> yes! Eddie the Edge. Get wrecked. Now we are missing the follow-up. I think it's a good chance to check out the bleed. See if this is actually worthwhile. How many, how many ticks do we have here? Suffer 13 damage over 5 rounds. I think it has been 13 before as well. Anyways, hex him. <laughs> Burm. That means he's gonna now go down by bleed and bleed alone. I think I'm fine with them attacking in that pattern. Just thinking right now. Do I go hoodoo? Uh, I think I'm just gonna... Eh. Hoodoo is a guaranteed value by having the, the backliner slowed there. The blast could have hit the big boy and not do anything! You gotta be kidding me, you Almost fast dude. What? No! Oh, the bleed tick was not enough. We have a mortal wound! No! No! No, right. Down with you. I'm angry now. Oh, I gotta make sure that my guy is not dying there. <laughs> that hurt. Duck Scaler, man. Ah, come on. Okay, nobody is um, mortally endangered, so we go for the bash. Get some damage in, get the chance for stun. It's only 20%, but it's better than nothing. Get rid of your armor. Perfect. I don't know, sudden strike. Kills. And yes, the last human is actually too slow to get anything done anymore. So we go blast and just go for it. Okay, high roll on the blast. Uh, that's that's annoying. But hey, again, we gotta remember, goblins are expendable. They are a resource to work with. I'm gonna give you the soul gale, so there we go. It's a bit of a shame, the though. The opposing creature is gone. All right. Hopefully never to return. Let's open it up. Here we go. And Treasure that is that. The goblins return home from the woods. So our harvest got us... Um, actually, we got some fiber. That's pretty good. Holy crap. So much ore, though. Well. They can... Well, I guess... I guess that's it for this... Of this encounter let's here. Let's see what the new day So, is. let's take a look here. Construction Splendid complete. Edition. Splendid edition. Our quarters are bigger now. We have a higher chance for a rare shrine blessing, which I am very happy about. The we also got grows. the armory upgrade. We can hold two more items now. And our smithy chance is bigger. Okay. Not too exciting. So, quick check on the merchant. Nothing fancy. Well... Uh, we can trade all of this garbage. Sure. An honest bargain. Click the wrong button. 
I wanted to check these here. Prospects Who do we have here? Mm? Eager for admittance. All right. Six body. Could be a breeder. Six body is great. Five spirit as well. Welcome oh, aboard. The other fella. guys, I don't really care. Uh, and by the way, hold up. We can upgrade the campfire as well. With ore and stone? I mean... I mean, we have a lot of that. Let's go with that. Okay. Larder is full. We should probably also upgrade that thing. But you know what? I should sell. I know. I know. But it's not too necessary. Wait. Seems like we had some slots left. A fair trade. Mm hmm. Okay, let's get the bauble. Alrighty then. So, where do we go from here? I kind of want to get my shamans upgraded as well. But we need more wood and we need more fiber. Gotcha. Yeah. So one of our guys got um, a mortal wound, which was Duck Scaler. Mortally wounded. Max life is permanently reduced by 50%. Uh, let's retire you. Get some souls as well. This one's adventuring days. And we have up. no other shaman right now. That means we go breeding. A strong lair requires a So we want high spirits and we want religious, ideally. Spirit four, spirit two, spirit four. You got, you got, wait, there was one guy who had six, but that's coming from religious. That's not great, man. Religious alert, brute. Flabby. What other thing do I want next to next to um, religious? Alert is not really necessary because we don't get any uh, we don't get any like magic damage right now. You're fine. You got six spirit. That that's perfect. And I think I'm gonna take you as well because you have good base the stats. Makings of a strong brood. You got. Wait. You have r religious and Again alert. Needs new blood. Do I not get it here? I need religion. Hold up. Hold up. You are religious. This pairing holds promise. This is perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's try this. This might be a good combo. Proceed has Hello, little outed. guys. What are you? You're so cute. Okay, so oh, five, five, six. That is good. It's now a five, a two, five. <laughs> it's a two. <laughs> uh, but brute gets rid of mind. I don't think I need the crit chance necessarily. I think having a bit more body is better. But yeah, we get a point of armor. Wait, magic armor vocation. because of it, right? You're just good. I'll take you. Let's go. Moth attacker. And then slagmonger. Ooh. 5-5-6 five, five, as well. Oh, you guys are amazing. I mean, I'm gonna get you, but what am I gonna... Make you? This is really good. We need one more point of spirit to gain that extra armor, though. <laughs> I think I want both, though, because they are great, like, platforms to build upon. Let's go with this. Okay, you're just a guy. You're just a guy in my roster. Good. So, we can embark on another adventure. Let's go for that. We're gonna go here. We add... Where are you, my friend? Moth attacker. Give you a stick in the hand and a drop in the eye. Actually, you get the stone. And we are ready to go. We still need wood. It's our biggest concern right now. And since we cannot really find it, I'd say we're gonna just go and advance the storyline. Which means we gotta go here. Ugh, leather. <laughs> but hey, we might be able to find some wood here. Let's do it. Begin. Oh, wait. You had a temporary weapon. Bonk. Bonk. Let's do it! So, second journey for today. Let's see how this will go down. Oh boy.
I think we are kind of managing though. Oh, by the way, with all of these souls, we could possibly upgrade. Or let's check out some of these skills that we can unlock. Love the foodstuffs early on, man. That's so good. We also get a guru. We get a shrine and a battle. And so, how does it work? We get these shorter adventures whenever we scout a new area, and when we go back to that area, we get a bigger one. Is that how it works? Okay, some junk. Ready for the taking. Hold their skills, for they will be tested. It's a very good setup early on. <sighs> Inspired. Makes it super fast, but it costs our shaman four time slots. I'm gonna go uh, with the slicing dagger. I'm not a particular fan of this haste thing. Sudden strike is amazing. Uh, and, and intercept as well. So is armor up. We don't really have a lot of crit yet, though. So it makes the... It just makes Practice more... Makes the it gives us more damage. It's just, like, quick more damage. Rattle is fine. Soul Gale. 10% more damage. Does it have a big impact? It also, it also increases our knockback chance. Sure. Mm, Let's go with it. Thank you, Guru. See you next time. <laughs> On towards a shrine, which also gives us a lot of value. Da -da -da -da. They fall to venerate their ancestors. More gold? Inventory size. I don't care about that. <laughs> Give me the money. They yeah, we want to dig deeper, and that dig is, uh, I think, 5,000 gold. Cool. A humble reward for humble so, let's keep going. First battle, it's a wolf. Kablam. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, a tired wolf takes 50% more damage or something like that, right? But he is... Ah, he's already back there. Okay, anyways. Um, you wanna attack my tank? I'm gonna armor up then. What? Yeah, that's exactly what's happening here. Um... Armor up. Could have actually bashed. I mean, these are just wolves. Let's just... Go for it. This is better DPR. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just sudden strike him. Also, more chances for individual crits. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try to take this thing out before it actually gets an attack in. With the blast, maybe. We could possibly send them back, though. And we do. Very nice. Let's go and rattle you. Oh, we might not take any point of damage here. Ah, oh, can we? Going for the shaman now. Hold up. Hold up. I think we I think we not let them get a single turn. Yes, wakey wakey. Kapong? Oh, the ordering! It worked out! Complete crowd control. Sudden strike! It's good! Modest victories. Hey, there we go. Great accomplishment. Not a single wound was taken. That's pretty good. I like that. So, we have a, a diverging path here. Could be treasure, could be shrine, or could be battle and treasure. I mean, the shrine would help us a bit more against... Let me think. Against the boss, but we don't care about the boss, really. We are already pretty strong. You know what? I'm gonna take the battle for the sake of getting more loot. Just gathering more. Spider. Mm-hmm. One poison. I don't really care about the poison. You also have very low damage in general. You know. I'm gonna go aggressive here. The quicker we end the fight, the less time they have to poison us and get damage over time in. Yeah. 
I got a stun. Nice. That means wakey wakey would kill if we get it. Yup. Get him out. Start. A slicing dagger. It's not what we want here. Killing nah, we want instant true. damage and we want the crits. Oh, I love that. So. Yeah. This this might seem funny, but here's what we do. I'm gonna stun spider number A. Um, so we can then just blast. And I would have taken whatever I could hit here. And I don't think that Spider A is gonna get any other turn anymore. Rattle this one. Perfect. Eh. Bash has the higher cap. Hmm. Ah, he's gonna get another turn. So I was kind of chancing it for just keeping him back in the in the line there. Um, this is Hex. Never mind. All right. I think this was a okay spider fight. It was all right. And I would say we're gonna end this here. There's no need for doing any kind of um, the uh, heal of shenanigans. I think we are good here. Money. The money was not exciting, but every little bit helps. Ooh, so what's that? Max life plus 20%. And we have a wooden stool, which gives us a 20% chance to stun a with every attack, huh? All right, don't mind if I do. Mm, this is a perfect, perfect thing for clam timber. And I would also give you the max life bonus. Where would I put it? Maybe to Moth Tacker so he's not getting one shot. It's only one more fight to come, and I don't think that my tanks are particularly endangered of getting killed. So I think it's fine. It's a zombie. Okay. Okay. And by the way, harvest with fiber and wood. That's great. So we got holy these strong crap. lumbering oaks were once placid, The skull is very low health though, at, at the very least. Uh, we got four zombies. Twelve damage per zombie. Oh my god. So, I'm gonna intercept the one attacking my shaman. I, I think we need to save these guys. This is a long fight, guys. We need to prepare for that. Rattle could. Actually, oh, we don't have wakey wakey. I will armor up. Again, this is gonna be a long fight. Sudden strike slicing dagger. He has bleed resistance. Yeah, 100%. It's a skeleton. And all of these have. That means slicing dagger is not good here. Let's be fast. Let's deal damage where we can. Slow! What? I don't like that. <laughs> oh, get pushed, baby! Get pushed. So... Oh god, this is just a chop. <clears throat> and the very least we got the crit, so we could possibly take that one zombie D out of the game. Do I life shock here? No, the other way around. We spirit rush. Get rid of the slow. Put a haste on the guy. Absolutely. So the skull is attempting to go for my raider, which ooh, already has a lot of a lot of damage on him. So we guard him. It's important. Wakey wakey doesn't kill unless we get a crit. 14%, two instances. Oh. I'm gonna chance it. We need it just a little bit more. Wait, they moan? Oh, wait. They're buffing them. Oh, they're buffing themselves. Power is increased by two. 
Understood. Well, well, well. Aren't you a sneaky one? Another one. Uh oh. Okay. I want to attack the midline. But hey, a chop? It might kill. Ah, so close! Bonk. It's just a knockback with five damage. We we can we can sustain that. And yes. Tank doing tank things. Good. Alright, two of them almost dead. I mean, like for reals, because they are undead. What we now need is the bash, because it's faster. Nice. Can I have a soul gale, please? Yes. So we kill the first one and get some damage in on the other ones. Very efficient here. And we even got a knockback, but on the target it was already dead anyways. What are you doing now? Doubling up, huh? That's cheating. We need better crit. In order to get that... Uh, what's it? Sudden strike. It, it makes... No sense, right? I mean, it's okay, but we need more to leverage that crit uh, haste chance a bit more. Um, I believe we will intercept one of them so that my raider is not getting killed. Crit? No. Thank you, that was a massive hit. Holy crap. Eh, I'm not a fan of this. Sudden Strike, yay or nay. Again, it has the better damage per tick. And it has more chances to crit over the time then. Life Shock. Undead take magic damage. Oh! Yes! It's amazing. But we don't want it now. Do we? Nah, we want Soul Gale to get the backline out of the way and deal some damage to the other ones. That is okay. Yeah, it makes sense. We have a heal that hurts undead. But I think we got it now, right? We got the stun on Zombie B. We got the... Sudden Strike again. Don't get the haste. I'd say at that point we got it. Get out of here. Wait, did we also deal more damage? I need to read up on that again, because that seemed like we would have dealt more damage. Okay, cool. Nice fight. The unsavory lot will bother them no more. <laughs> 25 gold. Oh man, these zombies. Their pockets were empty. Was really hoped for a double harvest, but we didn't get it. Meh. All right then. Uh oh. For a bit, I was worried that we wouldn't exit here. But yeah, see, this is one of these missions where we now kind of like raise the flag and we got this like little outpost and scout that tower. So when we get to a new oh, zone, I think this is the first like short mission that we take and then we can come back to these and take the longer missions potentially finding different enemy types and like different like salvage and stuff um but hey that was quite good we got a new goblin in our roster you know diversifying the gene pool that's good new day we are on day 10 question is do we have enough for this <laughs> why am i even thinking about it oh but yes we want to probably get some more abilities unlocked I'm rarely using the hoodoo. Pestilence is 40% of our magic damage to all foes. Heal an ally for 10% of your power plus half of your spirit. Tired allies heal twice the amount. The question is how fast are these? There's also heebie jeebies. Give three random allies haste. When it expires, they gain slow. Cannot be used on the first turn. I, I don't like this too much. I don't like the, the, the payoff thingies. 40% to all foes. I mean, we got Soul Gale. And most of the time, we only get three foes or less anyways. And we also have the knockback chance here. Again, if this is like two or less, it would be good. 
their knowledge grows. It's four. What? A Why? How? Like, this is Soul Gale is so much better than Pestilence. Yeah, it says all, but I don't know how many enemies we'll actually face in, in that game. Will, will there be like a stack of ten at some point? That is so much worse, man. I feel bad now. <laughs> uh, get healing chance. 10% of your power plus half of your spirit. It's not a lot, but again, if it's fast, it's better Let than the shark. This new Probably. It's the also four. No. Oh, come on. Oh, we got O's here. Damn it. Alrighty. But hey, construction complete on the campground. We get 300 gold as a reward. We also have 5,000 sitting here. Wait. One more thing before we go. Campground. We have more squatters. Um, we generate, or uh, we regenerate more life at camps in the uh, adventure section. That's actually quite good. Getting that upgraded. A new bone. 10 power. Speed plus 30. Ooh. For bandits. Wait, bandits and acolytes. We have raiders, not bandits. Damn it. Do I buy it anyway? I don't know. This is a 20% ch chance to stun, and as far as I know, yeah, we still have a shield that we don't want. Yes, let's sell it. Let's get that in instead. Get rid of the valuables. Any material? I mean, bone and ore. Do I even care? I mean, I could. Do we buy it on prospect? That's my question here. Speed plus 30 is massive. When will we get bandits? I don't know. You know what? I'll take it. Or if I don't take it, I would be able to excavate. Let's trade it. Just we got what we got. It's rare to see one of these weapons. I'm pretty sure we're going to find some more. But uh, I would say we are in a good spot right now. We're going to continue our series in the next episode of Goblin Stone, the beautiful roguelite RPG that we are playing here. If you enjoyed the episode, do me a favor. Leave a like. Tell me that this is good because um, if there's losing, or if you lose interest, then I would probably drop it and play it only in my free time. So you decide, guys. Uh, thank you for watching today and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.